Hi guys, it's Daniela again and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do my high-end version of if I lost all my makeup products, what would I buy first? So these products are most likely products you've heard me speak about because they are like favourites and my go-to kind of products. So if you're excited about this video, continue watching and let's get started. Hi guys, so the first product I'm going to talk about today is one that you've definitely heard me talk about. So this is the Frankation palette by Desi and Katie in Dose of Colours. So this is what the palette looks like. I can't really hold it up properly towards the camera because two of my shadows have shattered. So this one here and this one are shattered. So obviously I don't want to drop it, which I thought I did almost then. So I've spoken in a lot of detail about this palette. So I'm not going to speak about it too much. But for me, this is my favorite palette at the moment. I'm really, really enjoying it. Every time I do a look, I somehow go into this palette and just use a shade or two. This is by far my favorite palette that a YouTuber has ever created. This is like my ride and die at the moment and I'm just absolutely in love with it. So it is limited edition I believe but they still have it at the moment so if you can get your hands on it I would like it's such a good good palette and of course if I lost this palette you best believe I'll be on Beauty Bay buying another one or buying maybe two. So the second product is this one. This is the Beauty Blender. Mine is dirty because I just used it. This is kind of a fresh one, like I've used this like three times. For me, I can't do my makeup without a Beauty Blender. I have really tried like alternatives, but nothing, nothing comes close to a Beauty Blender to me. I do like the Sigma one and I do like the Real Technique one. I like the Tarte one, but this one is just my baby. Like I can't do my makeup without my beauty blender whenever i'm doing my makeup i literally use this like whether it's like i'm using creams or powders or i just want to go over my face a little bit with this this is my number one tool i don't think anything compares to a beauty blender if i'm honest i like alternatives but i don't love them as much as i do a beauty blender i don't think i'll ever stop buying it if i'm honest i know the brand is a bit messy with some of their social media interactions and their shade range but like it doesn't stop this from being so good if i could buy an alternative that is just as good as this i would stop buying this because it's like 18 pounds or 17 pounds every time and obviously that does get expensive but like nothing compares to this out of all my tools this is the one i could not live without and i would have to buy straight away for me i will always recommend this sponge um if you're like on a budget or you're just starting out with a sponge i think you starting out with the real technique one is no problem at all because you won't know what this one feels like but i started off using this so going back I, I struggle with it. The next product is one that I have spoken about a lot in my videos, but not recently, to be honest. And the product that I'm talking about is the Tarte Shape Tape. So this is by far my favorite concealer, nothing compares to it. I know some people love it or some people hate it. I'm in the group of people that love this concealer. I really like the color, I've got the color Light. Yes, I like the Revolution Concealer and I like the Elf Concealer, but to me, nothing compares to my Tarte Shape Tape. I don't really wear this very often just because it is a bit more expensive and if I can use like an alternative or a dupe, I'll use that just for like everyday kind of use. Not that I wear makeup every day, but like on my weekends, if I'm just grabbing a coffee or lunch, I'm not gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape, like it's pointless. I only really use this on special occasions or if I know I'm gonna be out for hours, I use my Tarte Shape Tape. So yeah, for me, Tarte Shape Tape is compared to no other concealer, no other concealer does what Tarte Shape Tape does to me, it is a full coverage concealer. Like, no joke, it's full coverage. The only other concealer that I found that the coverage is very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. The e.l.f. concealer is like a really good alternative, especially if you're like on a budget or you just don't wanna be like an idiot like me and spend however much I pay for this. On my skin, this concealer does not look crepey. It doesn't crease, it stays on, it looks flawless. It is full coverage, so it covers all of my darkness under my eyes. It's just such a good concealer in my eyes. So yeah, Tarte Shape Tape is my ride and die. And if I lost it right now, I would buy it again. So another base product that I want to speak about is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the pink and this is what I use under my eyes and around my mouth to colour correct my darkness there. This has been my ride and die for a long time. I do have a few other colour correctors and I have one in pink, but nothing compares to this. This I can 
instantly tell a difference on my skin. I actually don't have it on today. And I know, I can tell I don't have it on, if that makes sense. This to me is something that I would repurchase and I actually do need to repurchase really soon because I'm literally running out. It's not one that's like super thick or like oily. This is a lot more of a thin formula. So it just like doesn't look too much there, if that makes sense, especially when you're putting like color corrector, concealer, then foundation, then powder. It can just become a lot. But when I use this, like I have no problem at all because it's a really thin formula. It is just a really good color corrector. And I know most people are like, oh, color correctors are all the same. To me, they're not like, to me, this is the one that I will always rebuy. And if I lost it, I would rebuy it. And I'm going to have to because it's running out. So my next product is one that you probably heard me speak about recently. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I was a proper hater on this foundation until I wore it and started mixing it and I was like, um, why is this like the best foundation on my skin? This foundation is by far worth the hype to me. For me, this is my only high-end foundation that I would rebuy and I've got a few. This is such a good foundation and I was like a proper hater bitch but like now I'm like, yes. This is a great foundation. The colour that I've got is Warm Ivory, which I do believe is a little bit dark, but I'm not that bothered by it. So yeah, this foundation is just really good. It lasts a long time on me. It does crease around my smile lines, which most, to be honest, honestly, it's science. Foundations and concealers will crease if there's a line. I really like the finish. It's more of like a satin finish. It doesn't look matte, it doesn't make my skin look really textured or dry. It lasts a long time on my oily skin, which a lot of foundations don't. It lasts like 12 hours. It's just a really good foundation. So this is the only high-end foundation that I've found that really works for my skin. So the next product is this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Unlocked Palette. So this is what it looks like here. So this palette is limited edition, however, this is the only thing that I can really think of right now that I would have to buy. This palette has been my go-to palette for absolutely everything. Blush, highlight, setting powder, bronzer. I am loving this palette. So this palette is not cheap at all. Hourglass products are not cheap at all. That is very high end. But to me, this is my favorite palette ever. I really like the Benefit one, but like, if I'm having to compare it, this is my baby, I gave birth to this, this is my firstborn, this is like bijou to Egypt. No, it's not, because I love both of my cats the same. Did they hear me? So for me, Hourglass know what they're doing with the complexion category of makeup. Like the foundation, the powder, they've got that in the bag. So yeah, I know you can't buy this anymore and it's limited edition, but like, I would buy this if I could, again. Like, if I could buy this again, just so when I run out of it, I still had it, I would, because I absolutely love this palette that much. My next product is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Nothing compares to this powder. RCMA, I love you, you're affordable, you're really good. Uh, cover effects, you're really good. You're not affordable, but you're really good. Laura now. Laura is my main bitch. For me, this is a powder that I wear whenever I want my makeup to look flawless for hours and hours and hours. And like, I just want my makeup to look like I'm that bitch. Laura just comes through. She just, she is my favorite powder. Laura is expensive, so I can't just be putting her on willy nilly or putting her on when I'm just doing like a YouTube video or just Instagram. I can't be spending my money like that. But when I want to look like flawless and I want my makeup to last and I'm going to like a special event, Laura, she's got my back. Okay, so my last two products are lip products. So the one that I'm going to talk about first is one that you've probably heard me speak about before. This is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in Got A Light. This by far is one of my favourite liquid lipstick formulas. This and Jeffree Star are like my favourite full stop, like nothing compares to it. It lasts long, it doesn't go like buttholey, it doesn't go like weird and get like crumbly. So if right now I had to go and buy a lip product from like a high end store, this is the one I would buy. I've spoken about MAC Honey Love, I love that and that's one I would also buy but I didn't want to speak about that because I've spoken about that recently. 
Well, I haven't really spoken about this one in a while. Okay, so I actually have two more products. I thought I only had one, but no. The next lip product is the Dose of Colors Lip Gloss in Honey I'm Home. I was a bit like, mm, about this lip gloss at first, just because like I kind of got like a white line and I was like, wait, wait, that's never happened to me before. Is this like the gloss? And then like I reused it and it was fine and then I used it again, used it again, used it again and it was like fine. And now it's like my go-to lip gloss that's like this kind of colour. So when I first bought this I was like oh my god the colour looks horrendous because it is a very peachy colour. And I don't really like peachy colours on me, I think they really wash me out. But this mm, is like my go-to nude pigmented gloss. I really like the form like this is a very thick lip gloss so if you don't like that you won't like this but it doesn't go like goopy and it doesn't like stick your lips together and you know when you talk sometimes you can see those lines that doesn't happen with that gloss the color just really suits like my skin tone when i've got like a brownish lip going this to me is like my favorite high-end lip gloss i don't actually think i have that many i think i only have this and game over by dose of colors and they're the only ones i would ever buy again they are such good gloss formulas okay so my last product is one that i spoke about recently as well so i'm not going to speak too much about it it is the urban decay all nighter setting spray by far the best setting spray ever it is expensive it's 24 pounds i believe for this but for me it's worth it i only ever wear this when i really want my makeup to last so yeah this is by far the best setting spray it actually makes your makeup last I can see a difference when I don't use it. So yeah guys, we've come to the end of this video. So I've spoken to you about 10 higher end products that I would buy right away if I lost all my makeup. These products are my go-to, my favorites, my ride and dies, and they're just really good higher end products. I don't really think all higher end products are worth it, but these 10 that I've spoken about are by far definitely worth it. So yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, you know what to do and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.